guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a bit of a different one and I want to preface this video by saying that I don't typically do videos about parenting and parenting advice or anything of the sort because other than a few years of behavioral children's studies, I'm not in any way like a professional. The way I see it, like there is no perfect science for raising children. I have seen kids that have grown up in almost identical situations lead completely different lives. However, I want to share my experience as a parent from mother to mother or parent to parent and I am an intentional parent. So what that means is that I am very thoughtful about everything I say to my children, everything I do with my children. I'm just very intentional about the information they receive from me. So in saying that, I thought that this video could be helpful to those of you who are hoping for a stronger, more intentional bond with your children. In this video, I'm going to share three intentional questions that I ask my kids every single night when we go to bed that just creates a stronger bond between me and them and makes it so I know what's going on in their days. So every single night putting my kids to bed, we have a routine. It starts with bath, it goes to reading a story, and then it goes into these three simple questions. Question number one, what was your favorite thing about school today? Now, the reason this question is important is because if you just ask your kid how was school today, they're going to say fine or good or whatever. But asking them what their favorite thing about school was is more intentional, it's more specific, and it gets them thinking about what they did from start to finish. I love this question because it gets my children talking about things that they are proud of, talking about friends that they have deep relationships with, and this way I kind of have a better idea of who they're attracted to, what they're attracted to, and it gives me a better understanding of my own children. Question number two, what was your least favorite thing about school today? Most nights, both of my children say nothing. There was nothing bad in my day. I love school. But this is a question that definitely has given me the most useful information throughout their time in school. By asking this question, I have found out whenever the teachers have had a bad day and maybe reacted. I have found out kids that are bullying in class. I have found out about upcoming things that they wouldn't have told me about otherwise because they have anxiety about it, so I'm able to work through that anxiety. So a perfect example of this, my daughter is eight years old and she has never in her eight years of life had a single problem with any child ever. So one day when I asked her what her least favorite thing about school was that day, she informed me about a child in her class that was bullying her. I took this information to the teacher the following day. I also was able to ask the teacher if this was a behavioral problem with this student or if this was something that he was specifically targeting her. She immediately removed my child from that child in all situations, including sitting next to him in class, walking next to him in line, sitting next to him at lunch. He was completely separated from my daughter. And had I not talked to her about that, asking her what her least favorite thing was, she wouldn't have told me because my daughter is the type of person that will take, 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 take until she finally explodes. Another great thing about this question is it created a back and forth dialogue between both of my children. So not only did I get that out of her, but then my son felt comfortable enough sharing his experience with us both. So definitely the most powerful conversation you can have to kind of eliminate any negativity from their day that you have control over. And then question number three is what are you looking forward to at school tomorrow? I personally enjoy this question the most because it switches their mindset from, oh, we have school tomorrow to, ooh, what can I look forward to at school tomorrow? Some days this is Subway lunch or pizza lunch or seeing my friend, but it just changes their perspective of school, gets them away from the work and the daily grind and puts the focus on what they are excited to do on the following day. So like I said, different video for this channel. I am not trying to offer parenting advice. I am just offering my experience as one parent to another parent. I hope this video helps you create a stronger bond with your children in a more intentional relationship. And if you do like these videos, give it a thumbs up and let me know that you would like to see more videos about intentionalism in children. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.